Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. Here comes Chapter 4 of Owl Diaries, The Wildwood Bakery. Chapter 4, Granny to the Rescue, starting on page 28. Chapter 4, Granny to the Rescue Wednesday Diary, sometimes Sue can be nice, and sometimes Sue can be, well, Sue. Today, Sue was being Sue. We're going to sell so many of our super tasty candies. No one will have any money left to spend at your bakery. Don't be so sure, Sue. Our cookies are going to be big sellers, too. During class, both teams worked on shop signs. Zack came up with ours. Wow, Zack, that's so cool. We copied it to make our Wildwood Bakers membership cards. At recess, I called our first secret Wildwood Bakers meeting. Everyone showed their cards and said the password. It was such a hoot. We have a great bakery name and sign. Now we just need great cookies to sell. The cookie batter we made last night was, well, it was gross. We need something really special to sell in our shop. What can we bake? Granny! Everyone looked at me like I was crazy. I've just had the best idea. My granny is an expert baker. I'm sure she'll help us. Everyone who can come bring flour and sugar to my granny's house tonight. Later, we told Granny Alberta and Grandpa Alfred about our shop. I'd love to help you raise money for me a special wing chair, and I have a wingtastic recipe for cookies. I can teach it to you now if you'd like. That would be amazing. Thank you. We baked yummy cookies. Then Haley thought she saw someone at the window. Look! We flew outside. No one was there. But Macy found something. Hey, look at this. It's a membership card. Someone from Candy Crunch Corner was here. They must be spying on us. We flew back inside. I bet they're trying to steal our ideas. We have to raise more money than them. Yes, we have to win. Calm down, Owlets. 
Try not to worry about what other owls are doing. Just do your best. That's all any of us can do. Granny is a very wise old owl. In order to do our best, though, we'll need more than a cookie recipe. Granny, do you have a really great cupcake recipe? I have one that is very special. She took a dusty recipe book down from a shelf. This is an old Wingdale family recipe. These dreamy, creamy carrot cupcakes are so good, it is impossible to eat just one. Legend has it that your great Great Grandpa Winston once ate so many dreamy creamies that he couldn't fly for a month. Dreamy creamy carrot cupcakes, one cup sugar, one cup flour, six bugs, two acorns, one cup wild carrots. Mix together. The first four ingredients. Shred the carrots and stir them in. Pour batter into muffin pan. Bake for thirty minutes. Let cupcakes cool. Put loads of icing on top. Enjoy. Those cupcakes sound yummy. Can we bake them now? I'm afraid not. I don't have any wild carrots. They are hard to find. Oh. Then Granny whispered, "Hard, but not impossible. It's too late tonight, but when you can, follow the rabbits." Just don't let them see you, because they won't like you taking their carrots. Dress in dark clothes to stay hidden. Everyone said goodbye to Granny and Grandpa. Then we all flew home. Diary, tomorrow we are going to find those wild carrots. And bake those dreamy creamies. It's the only way we'll win. End of chapter four. Join me again for chapter five: Ninja Carrot Hunters. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.